you all so much for tuning in. So, I just want to share some tips and tricks and techniques that I picked up from my two great teachers, Tender Heart and Brave Eagle. So, firstly, uh, EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. And so, what EFT does is it taps on various meridians on the body, right? And as you're tapping on these meridians, you're inputting different affirmations. So, it's kind of like putting it as like putting in computer code into your system, right? You're putting in different energies into your body. So this can do many, many, many things. This can help with healing physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, soulfully. It can help enhance and awaken things within you. Like you want to awaken your psychic abilities. You know, you can tap um, as I tap my clairs and hands, as I tap my clairs and hands, so on and so on. So how you do the statement? How do you do it? What's the process? So first you figure out what it is you want to do. Let's just say you kind of just want an overall improvement of all your chakras, starting with the root chakra. So you do some research on research on the root chakra. What does the re what does the root chakra do? What is its function? What is its purpose? What are the benefits of it? Right? What does it mean when it's in balance? What it mean what does it mean when it's out of balance? Right? So you look at all that. And then you put together your statement. Typically the statement goes like this. First you acknowledge the problem. You say you love and you accept yourself, and then you shift it. So you say, say for example, you know you want to help with your root chakra. You say, um, even though I have this ungroundedness, I unconditionally love and accept myself. And as I tap, I become more grounded, present, and focused. Right? And then you go again. Even though I have this ungroundedness, I unconditionally love and accept myself. And as I tap, I grow more grounded present and focused and then again do that affirmation on each and every meridian point okay so the main technique here is you tap each meridian point um, while saying the affirmation three times so the meridian points are right here on the top of the head this is the first one second one is right here above the eyebrows third is right here where the temples are fourth is the uh, little the cheekbones right here then you have the upper lip Lower lip, right here. You want you want to make sure it's like eye level, right? So like right right about here, kind of where it will hurt, where it's most sensitive. That's a really strong meridian point. Oh yeah, it hurts. Okay, so that's really good energy, really good energy to release that. Okay, and then right here on the sides, it's like that that kind of tender spot, like right there. It's different for everyone. Um, it's like right there, right there, right there. Some people like to hug themselves as they do. That is a bit more you know, nurturing if you're needing that energy. Um, and then the last one is a karate chop. Okay. So, again, so you do it three times. Tap on each point while saying the affirmation three times, you know, for each point going through it. Then once you've done that, pause, breathe, slow down. Then you do it two times. Um, say the affirmation twice per each meridian point. And then one time. And if it's really serious, you need really quick advancement, you do the three, two, one, three times in a row. So you go three times, two times, one time, three times, two times, one time, three times, two times, one time, right? And then that way, then you stop, you're done for the day. You do that same affirmation for about three weeks, and then you change the affirmation. Because if you keep taking the same medicine over and over again, it becomes less powerful, it becomes uh, less effective. So, one thing I was also recommended, I, I'll, I'll do a meditation with this later at a different point in time but I just figured I'd share it now so you guys can start reaping the benefits what you do is you get some just very basic elementary crystals red jasper carnelian citrine green aventurine lapis amethyst and clear quartz right so again that's root sacral solar heart throat third eye crown and what you do is you just google or you come up with your own affirmations for each chakra so you'd hold the red jasper, and you say, my physical vitality, personal integrity, enjoyment of life grows even stronger. My physical vitality, emotional balance, personal integrity, enjoyment of life grows even stronger. Right? You just say that same affirmation 13 times while holding that in your left hand, the crystal in your left hand. And then I recommend having a candle in your right hand, right? So, you know, the receiving, you're receiving the medicine of the crystal, and then you're giving out the energy to the candle, right? The receiving feminine, the masculine, the right hand. Okay, so you hold the crystal, say the affirmation, visualize that chakra spinning bright, and then hold the candle on the other hand. Do that for, you know, each different crystal, and again, holding that same candle. Then when you're done, light the candle with intention, call in, you know, archangels or your allies, whoever you, whoever you connect with, call them in, ask for assistance, leave it going, then you're done. 
And then I recommend doing that every single day. Another one you can do is you can incorporate, you know, higher dimensions in regards to your EFT and affirmation work. So you could say, um, you know, even though this one's from Brave Eagle, uh, you can say, you know, even though I'm in the third dimension, third, third dimension, I am fully grounded, present, and focused. And as I, and with each step, I move forward into the fifth dimension. You know, even though I'm in this third dimension, I am fully grounded, present, and focused. And with each step, I move forward into the fifth dimension. Right, doing that through each and every chakra. Right. I don't rec I don't recommend uh, you include your affirmations the fourth dimension. Fourth dimension is not all that great. So, go to the fifth dimension. Right. Alrighty, folks. So we have some basic tools here: EFT, the crystal affirmations with a candle, and again, incorporating like fifth dimensional, higher vibrational uh, affirmations into your EFT statements. If you guys have any questions or want some help making your EFT statement, go ahead and you know shoot me an email or a text or whatever works, and I'll kind of help you craft it together. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys can benefit greatly from this. Have a blessed weekend.